Yo, what's going on guys? This is your boy Jay back at it again with the Crimson Camry. Um, you know how it is. I'm not gonna get no crazy introduction. I like to get straight to the point. So today we're installing the red caliper covers from HRS. Um show you what it looked like. This is what we're dealing with right here. Okay, the red caliper covers, and we're also installing uh 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter um spacers from uh Amazon. Um all right, so uh, the caliper covers, uh, I didn't want to paint them, honestly. Uh, I didn't want to go through all that work. I just want to call up a cover, you know, that way if I decide I want to change it, um, I can either paint the cover or I could get a different color from HRS. Um, but I doubt that happened. I like red, so um, as you can tell. <laughs> so um, right now I'm going ahead and take the tire off and we're going to go from there, okay? with a little kit, uh, I guess a uh, instruction manual. All right, so HR will give you an instruction manual to show you exactly what to do. Um, I guess I'm gonna pay attention to it because I, as always, I have never messed with this before in my life. So. Bear with me for a second guys, I'm just trying to figure out which cover goes to this caliber. Alright, so in order to get these to go on, uh, for, for this front, in order to get for it to get on, I had to unscrew the, uh, the clip that was right here. And I got this to go underneath here, as you can see. So it's, it's flush right there. And I pushed it on, so now I'm going to put this clip back on, just like this. Wait, not that way. This way. Put the clip back one just like that. So now it's tight the way it's supposed to be. And then it'll look just like this. That looks pretty good. I like it. Finish pocket of the first one. You see how tight it is? You see how this is right here? It's not touching. It's right, the clip is right where it needs to be. Alright. You got this right here. So yeah. Alright. Now, as for my spacers, to make sure they get tightened enough because my crossbar wasn't good enough, uh, I got a 19 millimeter. All right. You wanna make sure these are tight. You wanna make, don't make them too tight. You never wanna make them too tight, but the spacers, you definitely wanna make sure they're, they're on there. Now and see what it look like with the tire on. cover hrs high ref sports caliper covers red for the 2019 and 2020 se um it's very specific uh that you have the right year because apparently toyota made a slight difference in their calibers where they won't fit um all the models so you can see the slight difference right there where the tires popped out a little bit looking good okay all right so we're about to go ahead and get into the back wheel back here. Um, after I do that one, then I'm gonna go do, do, do the other two on the other side without recording because you, really all you guys need to see is the front and the rear, how I did it and everything. And we'll go from there and I'll go ahead and close it out. You know what I'm saying? So let's do it. Here, we're gonna go ahead and take the tire off. All right. 
we'll go ahead and take these nuns off. I got a little crossbar here, all right? Um, I always forget like which side I was using. I look for the one that has the dirtiest hole, and then I, then I just when I figure out that's the one I was using. So before I do that, I need to jack the car. What the fuck am I about to do? And I need to make sure when you're taking this tire up, I'm sure you guys know this, um, your wheel is gonna spin. So make sure you put your brake on, that way that doesn't happen. Alright, so now we got back here. Um, we're going to go ahead and put the spacer on first. piece right here a little piece want to make sure but that's won't face enough all right all right i'm showing you all this just so y'all know just in case if you get hrs uh what you call them in the manual it tells me that the rubber piece is supposed to be on top but but when you go to the back that's not the case um you the man the rubber piece has to be on the bottom because this clip right here this clip will not go fit on the bottom the way it's supposed to so um so now it's fitting the way it's supposed to when i was using this one earlier and i was trying to put the rubber piece when i was ooh, when i was trying to put the rubber piece up top it was not fitting whatsoever like this clip down here was not going down there so i had to do it that way all right so now you get the hardware the little bolt and screw all right and you go you know get under there and, and get to work there we go so now what you want to do is you know get i'm not sure if the, the one they gave you is going to work i'm not even going to bother it um but this tool that they gave you is definitely gonna work. So go ahead and put that in and then take this and then just work your magic. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and twist and keep twisting until it gets tight enough. Like you want it tight. Or honestly, I'm working harder than I need to. <laughs> what I could be doing is holding this the washer exactly where it needs to be and taking this and just spinning this because this this will be easier to spin see my back is killing me right now all right all right so now it's finally tight all right finished product spacers are locked in this is good all right yes, sir and look at those brakes down there and see how the pad looks the pad looks beautiful <laughs> all right so calipers on everything's tightened my spacers are tightened looking good let's go ahead and put the tire back on oh my god my back is still in my hold <laughs> My back is shot. Um, to me, I'm little. I got a little OCD. I like to make sure the album is like as straight as possible, even though it don't really matter. But um, I like to have all of them, all of them matching. 
you know, to be straight up. And then I usually put my, my wheel lock in the same spot. Why am I doing it this way? Y'all got, y'all got homie. I've been up for 24 hours. Don't pay me no mind. Cause I'm tired. Let's put work. There we go. There we go. Here's the final look of the rear. What look like the caliper cover and then the spacer. Okay, you see that both of them are done now. Spacers. Yes, sir. Let's go. All right, guys, so this is the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think about the spacers and the caliper covers that I got from High Rev Sports. Um, you know, what color would you get on your car? You know, I, I, you know, I got red on mine because I have a red car, but I don't really have anything else different to show. But anyway, um, if you have any questions, comment below. You can message me directly at Instagram uh, at Crimson Camry. So uh, yeah, if you're new to this video or new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like, you know, uh, show some support. Um, I appreciate all you guys for all the support lately. So until next time, I have some big things coming up on the channel and you know, some how-to videos as always. So see you guys later, deuces.